Now let's get things started with a weather snapshot from James. Good morning to you, JT. Where are you? Good morning. I, I don't have return vision here, so I'm just assuming that Larry's sitting there shirtless wearing a bow yes. tie. Am I right? Yes. yes. It's not one of so your weird right. dreams now, JT. <laughs> this is television. <laughs> How did you know? Well, while you've... While you've kind of got the, the big hairless beast in the studio, we've kind of got big hairy beasts in our hotel. This is Jamala in Canberra. It is a wildlife lodge. Have a look at it. You could be in Africa. All of the furnishings are from Africa. And inside the hotel, you've got huge aquariums, uh, which, through the magic of live television, have absolutely zero swimming pass right now. <laughs> Hang on, come over here. Ah, there, uh, there he is. Can you see the, the grope is completely hiding behind the corner? Come on out, big groper. Oh, Come there he is. Now we can see him. Come on out. There he's oh, going. Are you going to some me? sharks, some black tip reef sharks. Oh, on the other side, we've got monkeys. Look, this is wow. in the hotel. Wow. There are monkeys right there. And when we're going like to move really downstairs cool for breakfast, we'll see lions and hyenas. Oh, you're going to have such a great morning. But firstly, let's look at the forecast. All right, let's get some weather with JT. JT, this is a well-kept secret, this place you're at this morning. It is. So we're in the National Zoo, which has been here for ages in Canberra. But the hotel part of it, Jamala Wildlife Sanctuary or Wildlife Lodge, uh, only opened in December. So it's only been around for a couple of months. And basically, you come here, you can stay in a room where you experience the animals. When you arrive, you do a welcome tour. Uh, you do a couple of tours during your stay. And you have breakfast in a room like this <laughs> where the white lions are in an enclosure just behind you. Here comes Mishka oh, and Jake. This is wow. Jake. Isn't that incredible? While you have your croissant, <laughs> Jake has his steak. It's almost like the circle of life. Jake and Mishka <laughs> are brother and sister. The Hopefully we see Mishka. The croissant of life. <laughs> <laughs> this morning as well. But let's have a look at the forecast. It is fantastic. Um, this morning, it, just over here, the hyenas were resting uh, in the straw. I think they've just gone out to stretch their legs. You've got the white lines behind you. It is unbelievable. I'll see you back here at Jamala in the ACT very soon. That looks incredibly cool. I love Jake's reaction as he comes out, just takes a look at JT and the croissants. Oh. Look, goes straight back in. Looks at JT and goes, oh, all bones, I'm going back in. <laughs> <laughs> how would the fight be for that? For the, see the table there where JT is? Yeah. You know how you always fight for your chair with the best view? Oh, yeah. Like, no one would want to sit where you are there. No. That is, mate, that looks amazing. Look, really looking forward to this this morning. It, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Good stuff. All right, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to James uh, with the weather. Who's at Jamala? A spectacular place, JT. Firstly, let's get it right. Larry's all about the waxed back these days. Uh. Yes, Jamala Wildlife Lodge. That's actually where I stayed last night. In that room right there. So you stay inside the National Zoo in Canberra. Last night, I could hear the lions roaring all night, and these guys are the hyenas. So we've got some food here to feed them. I'm going to throw it over. So this is Zubiri and Pinduli. I'm just giving one bit each so that they don't fight. Um, aren't they just magnificent creatures? So you can hear lions. You can hear the lions. They know that we're feeding. Here you go, guys. Oh. Is that Jake? Jake's so that laugh is actually is actually a bit of a, a nervous laugh. So the Lion King gave these guys a bit of a bad reputation as uh, being quite the scavenger, but they're not really. They don't really scavenge that much. They, they are hunters, and that laughter is actually a nervous laughter. It's not sort of an intimidation technique. It's only when they start to get a bit nervous themselves that they they do that laugh, and they're actually quite beautiful. Ah, there you go, guys. Breakfast is served. Let's have a look now at the forecast. I'm on a little bit of beef for breakfast this morning, oh. feeding the hyenas, but I guess it's really the circle of life. <laughs> I really thought that you were going to dance then. Gorgeous. <laughs> I will in half an hour. Love it. <laughs> Come back for JT dancing. Thank you very much. He's lining his own music up now. It's like... Beautiful. Uh, no, and I'm just waiting for him to... Sorry, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's get <laughs> some weather with James. <laughs> I am busting out of my skin at the moment with excitement and nervousness, but I'm trying to contain it because I'm standing right next to real-life 
cheetahs. Wow. wow. Look at this. We're at the National Zoo in Canberra. We stayed overnight at Jamala, the wildlife lodge that you can stay right next to the creatures. Uh, this is Ryan, he's the senior cat keeper here, and we are literally going to feed the cheetahs. Okay, oh, please do not have... Sit, sit, okay, sit. Good girl. Oh, yep. Just take it. That'll do. Just give there it you go. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's the definition of brave right there. Uh, so I can sit down next to her. Yep, hop down beside her. Get one knee down, one knee up. That's the way. Just very slow movements. Yeah. Um, this is Renee. She's also with the Wildlife Lodge. Uh, now, this is an experience that people can come and do called Meet a Cheetah. This is. This is one of our immersive experiences that we offer here at the National Zoo and Aquarium. So it gets people up close and uh, and really getting that personal and emotional connect connection with our animals. And at Jamala, you say in different in different rooms, different rooms have different experiences. There's one room that is literally right next to where the cheetahs sleep. So as you're lying in bed, you can look across through the big glass panel and see these guys sleeping right next to you. You can, you can, you can wake up next to them. You can have them pretty much at the end of your bed, so to speak, with just a. Three millimeters, uh, three centimeters of glass separating you and them. It is so wow. cool. Okay, I'm going to read the weather because we want to be out of here before they finished. I reckon. And, and, and smelly meat and hand. Because you look like Let's you're busting to go to the loo. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a tip, if you're thinking about booking a night at Jamala or a weekend, if it's your honeymoon, don't ask for the cheetah suite. I just don't think it's a good start to the wedding. I stayed in a room with a groper. Now, that sounds great. And I woke up about four or five times and rolled over and there was a groper right there. So. Swings and roundabouts. Wow, well, lucky um, you. Oh, but that's, you that's you just talking about <laughs> home, right? That's not you at there. <laughs> um, JT, that just looks like <laughs> the most extraordinary place. And it's good to see you looking more comfortable. Before we went to the weather when we were first there, you looked like every muscle in your body was contracted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am you are here with two wild cats. It is a little bit nerve-wracking. How, How fantastic. It's quite the I promo line, isn't it? Come here and sleep with the uh, cheetah. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, mate. Sure. Better than sleep with a groper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A Thank groper you, on one side, a cheater on the other. It's a great <laughs> night. Thanks, JT. <laughs> Well, James Tobin, he's fearless. We saw him last week leaping from a tall height <laughs> at, uh, <laughs> at Jamboree. Now he's walking amongst jungle cats, JT. Yes, and get ready for this. Baby deer. And our packers. <laughs> they are. <laughs> They are just over there. They're, they're a little way away because I didn't really want to show you that bit. This is an, an enclosure here at the National Zoo. What I really wanted to show you was this bit. Come on in. These are six brand new giraffe tree houses. So you can stay here overnight. Come on through. Look at this amazing door. So this is what your room looks like. It is like being on an African safari. But imagine going to sleep and wow. waking up oh, wow. to this. This is Hummer, the giraffe. This is literally on your balcony. And does this that, is a man. Does that, the, the does, does that girl stand on your balcony too? <laughs> <laughs> With a carrot? Amanda is not part of the deal. <laughs> Hello, Hummer. There you go. Now, uh, wow. Amanda, you, you moved Hummer from a different part of the zoo into this section for the giraffe tree houses, and the goal was to get Hummer comfortable in 100 days. Yeah. And how did that go? Uh, it took 100 days. It was very stressful. Um, moving a giraffe it can be quite difficult. They're <laughs> definitely a creature of habit. So um, to get him to cross over that line to come on over... He's very hungry. Is he not, he's, he's not even yeah. chewing. So people come and stay in this giraffe tree house and all day they can just hang out with Hummer? Not all day. Uh, when they arrive, he's in here for about two hours and then first thing in the morning he'll get let in for an hour Is well. he going to stop eating? If we just keep on feeding, we'll just as keep going? As long as we've got these here, he'll keep on going. You are so great. Look at him. What a fantastic experience to be able to do this. So we're in Canberra, we're in the ACT at the National Zoo and the, the hotel part, the brand new part that only opened in December is called Jamala. And wow, what a great experience. Let's have a look now at the forecast. Ah, look at that tongue. Oh. Hey, uh, we've got a couple of neighbours that have just popped over. This is Sebi and Sarah. They stayed in one of the tree houses last night. Um, oh, where, oh, what's happened? Oh. Not hungry anymore. Well, it's International oh. Carrot Day. Oh. Did you go to say something <laughs> like, to him last <laughs> night? <laughs> does, does, he, does he? Well, it was fine with me. He just kept calling. Oh, the, the calling. <laughs> hey, tell me, did you did you love it here last night? Yeah, 
Yes. It was really good. Yeah. And what other animals have you seen here at the zoo? Well, we've seen Hi. a sunbear, we've seen meerkats, Hi. we've Hi. seen lemurs. <laughs> you guys have seen it all. Well, I think we're going to have to go and check out the sun bears as well. So we'll have a look at that in half an hour's time. Wow, yeah, what a, so what a treat for the kids. But then you've got to take the kids home yeah. to the goldfish and the budgie. <laughs> to the ocean The little view. sea monkeys. It's different when you yeah, get home. the poor thing. That's amazing. Isn't that Loving cool? that this morning, JT. Yeah. Thank you. Right, let's get a weather snapshot now with JT. Uh, mate, I do love my job. I've had a big smile on my face all morning because have a look at that. Sun bears here at the National Zoo in Canberra. Uh, now, we've been talking this morning about Jamala, which has just opened. It's where you can stay in the zoo and sleep right next to the animals. It is fantastic, but an important part of that story is that money that is made by the hotel goes to help the conservation and rescue of animals and to try and look forward to the future. And with the sun bears, Amanda, this is a really great place to talk about that. It absolutely is. You know, Ote, our female sun bear, was a rescue sun bear. So we're connected with Free the Bears. She came from Cambodia as a two-year-old and, uh, and we've had a successful breeding program here. So they've both come from, Arataki and Ote, have come from pretty, you know, traumatising starts in life and uh, we've had such a success providing a, a positive, enriching environment for them to actually have a cub here who's now part of the regional breeding program as well. So these guys were both kind of in strife uh, through the work the zoo's done They're in a really good place now and they've had a little baby called Mary. They have Mary, we named Mary after Mary Hutton who is the founder of Free the Bears and, uh, and she's now up at Taronga, up at Sydney and uh, hopefully we'll start to see the success of a breeding program up there as well that she's a part of. Fantastic, aren't they just magnificent creatures? Thank you, Renee. Let's have a look. I love that story. There was a bit of a sad start for Arataki and Otay, and now really positive. So I guess you can say that everything is a Otay. <laughs> yeah, that is yo, yo. definitely the new promo line <laughs> for the place. Thank you, mate. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> See you soon. All right. Well, James, it's been a real treat with the weather this morning. It's almost like you've taken us on safari. And it gets better. I've saved the best till last. So have a look at how amazing this room is on its own. Oh, but then yeah. consider the fact you get to stay with oh, Bakar. Right. Oh, he's just, he's taken a little wander up there. Bakar the Bengal tiger. Uh, we'll see if we can get him to come back because while you sleep on the four poster bed here, he sleeps right down next to no you. Way. They make this little section with heated floor and really enticing. So he'll just lie there while you lie in bed and you can just hang out for the night. JT, it is incredible. We're in do your, Canberra. Do your Bengal at the Tiger um, call that you do, that you're famous for. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. I've been working on it because it is the circle of life. <laughs> Mate, I think I think Let's history I think history will show us that you're better at uh, attracting cougars than uh, tigers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try the cougar call in a sec. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll give it one last try. So this is a Bengal tiger call. Uh, it's also very Gross. similar to a cougar call. Free Bacardi and Cokes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it, it might still work. Just quickly before we go at the moment to celebrate Hummer uh, getting really comfortable now in the giraffe enclosure where the giraffe tree houses are. It's 20% off giraffe tree houses April and May. If you want to do this, it has been an incredible morning. Come and experience it. It's Jamala Wildlife Lodge uh, at the National Zoo and Aquarium in Canberra. Amanda, is that the bath there? It's honestly, so... free Bacardi and Cokes. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's a, um, she, she much prefers Saint Blanc. Um, is that the bathroom that we can see on the Maybe. other side there? So you can have a bath and... Oh, come, just, just quickly, come through, come through. Look at this. Oh, it's amazing. You've got the big lion mosaic. There are huge Does someone look in the bath? Does that guy look into the bath when you're in the bath? He owns it. That's Richard. Does that man with the camera look in the bathroom window? He's the one that has the Bacardi and Coke around there. That's why. Oh, that made it. It's just, it's just amazing. If you're just tuning in now, you've missed a great morning. James has been in a bedroom with a groper, a cheater, and a hummer. Thanks, mate.
Thank you so Fantastic. much. That looks, that looks just brilliant. Amazing. I yeah. cannot wait to go, to go. Talk to you again tomorrow.